I'm Tim Coppens, I'm originally from Belgium, close to Antwerp, so where the academy is. That's where a lot of the other Belgian designers went to school. I think coming from that school helps to get a job in a company, it kind of sells you a little bit. But eventually I think, you know, it's just hard work. I started in Germany, working for Adidas. We developed a lot of new different ways of constructing garments, research like a lot of new technology. What activewear did is open up the way of constructing things like shoes and clothes. It's no longer just a needle and a thread, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot more than that. I currently live here in Manhattan. I'm going from Europe to America, just a completely different vibe. Corporately, sending emails, CCs, the whole thing. I mean, I'm a little allergic to it, but I guess, you know, you have to do it. My inspiration for the fall collection was lots of different things. Drive the movie was one of them. Hockey, ice hockey references, racing uniform references, all sorts of stuff. I think it's not a guy that dresses fashion from head to toe. It could be, but it could also be just a guy that wears the Levi's and takes one of my outerwear pieces and wears it with a t-shirt, which is probably how I would wear it. That kind of guy that definitely looks for, uh, for that special piece. I like using leather. It can get very heavy and constructed or very soft, Napa, lamb, compact fabrics as well, create a certain structure. It's more like sculpturing rather than just like draping. Creating my own brand is a very interesting experience. It's very exciting to see that people believe in it, they want to carry it in their stores, they want to work with me, people get interested in what I do and, and to just see them grow along with the brand. I want to be good in something, so I push it and then maybe I push it too far a little bit so then I have to hold, stop. I mean, I think it's every designer does that. You know, you continue, continue, continue until you drive the people that you work with nuts because you change your mind 12 times, but eventually you turn up um, with something that you think is, is perfect.